Hi everyone, so I know it's been a really long time since I've filmed a tutorial and it's kind of discouraging because I really did want to get on here and film but it's just the filming, the editing, the creating of the looks. Um, it takes a lot of time and I really didn't have any time to dedicate to it with a lot of school work and just a lot of other crazy things that had um, a toll on my schedule. So um, today I am here to redeem myself um, and to kind of share some really, really cool stuff that I picked up from Sephora. Actually, one particular thing that I picked up from Sephora, and there's tons of things in this one kit that I'm going to talk about today. This is the Tarte, um, what's it called, Carried Away Collectors Set, and it includes 24 full-size Amazonian clay eyeshadows. 8 Maracuja lip glosses, I don't know if I said that right, 1 Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and Adventurous, 1 Blushing Beauty Dome Blush Brush, 1 Lights Caramel Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara, and 1 Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I'm just going to show you guys what everything looks like. It all comes in this cute little case. Oh, and here's the little Tarte logo. But there's also this cool little mirror inside, which is great for if you're traveling. Um, you don't want to hog the bathroom with your makeup. <laughs> I always have that problem. Um, but this is one of the eight lip glosses. This is the one I'm going to use today, and this one's called Casey. This is the mascara that it comes with. It's just a mini Lights Caramel Lashes mascara, and I love this mascara. It's awesome. I'm wearing this. Well, I'm wearing pretty much a full face of Tarte, so I'm going to show you guys everything I use in this tutorial um, specifically. And I did use um, this blush brush a couple of times. I didn't use it in this tutorial, but this is an okay brush. It sheds a ton, but it looks really pretty. Um, I, I prefer my e.l.f. blush brush over this, though. And this is the Amazonian Clay Blush, and this is an Adventurous. Which is a really, really gorgeous color. And it has kind of like these shimmers in it. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's really, really weird. Because when you put it on, you can see almost like blue shimmer. But I doubt you can see it in the pan. This is Adventurous. And this is just the mini finishing powder. This one's called Smooth Operator. And it's just a translucent powder. I haven't really used this much. Um, I think I use it once or twice, but I mean it works just like a regular finishing powder, nothing special. Um, and I think that is it. Is that everything? Oh, yeah, the palette. The palette is ridiculous. This is 24 full-size shades, and these are all really, really gorgeous. So, yeah. And the colors I'm going to use today, um, are this color this color, and these two colors. So I'm kind of scattering around the palette. I have experimented with this palette a ton, and I've created uh, quite a few looks, so I will have a few more tutorials coming from this palette, and I really, really do love this palette. And you can find uh, dupes for these colors, I'm pretty sure, in the, gr in the drug store, grocery store, <laughs> in the drug store. <laughs> so um, if you'd like to see how I created this look, just keep watching. So first I'm starting with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this is the original. I'm just using this so that my cream shadows won't move. And the cream stick that I'm going to use first is a NYX Jumbo Shadow Pencil in Milk. I'm just going to pop a little bit on my inner corner to kind of brighten up the area. I'm just using very, very little. I'm going to blend that out with my pinky. It's very, very subtle. Um, and now I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Sparkle Green. It's a really, really nice green color. It's great for um, for Christmas time or winter because it's really, really dark and it's super pigmented too. So I'm just going to use that and I'm going to start along the top of my lashes and then I'm just going to take it all over the lid, but I'm not going to go too far up into the crease. 
So it's better to stick with going a little bit lower than the crease. That way when you blend up it doesn't get um, totally in the crease. I'm taking this e.l.f. contour brush and I'm just going to blend that out. And this is just going to smooth out any chunks of, um, of color. So we're going to take this Tarte High Performance Naturals palette and I'm going to grab this bluish aqua color. It's a really, really deep color. It looks like this. So I'm just going to take this Sigma Shader Lid Brush and this is the E56. I'm going to put that right over the cream shadow. And I'm just pressing it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take a clean eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to use that to kind of sweep away some of the color that went into my crease. So you're basically just going to clean up the edges. Now I'm going to take that same uh, cream shadow pencil, and I'm just going to put that right under my lower lashes. that same contour brush by e.l.f. just to blend it out a little bit and I'm not going to press too hard because I don't want to get it all under um, all under my eyes. So now I'm going to take my palette again I'm going to grab this really, really light color all the way at the top in the corner. It's kind of like a shimmery white, um, more like an off-white. I'm just going to take this angled brush by Sephora, and I'm going to dip the brush in there and stamp it right on my inner corner. And now I'm just going to dip it again and put that right under my brow. So now I'm going to take this small blending brush, and this is from the Performance Kit by Sigma. This is the Blending Brush E36. I'm just going to grab this champagne goldish color, and this is um, on the second row. I'm just going to grab that and put that right in my crease. i 
blend it into my brow highlight. Now I'm going to go back and take that same blue color that I used before. I'm just going to use a small brush. This is the Sigma Smudge Brush, the E21. This is just a really, really tiny brush, good for getting right under your lashes. So I'm just going to put that right over that cream shadow under my lashes. And now I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit, and I'm going to grab this sparkly black color on the second row. I'm going to grab a little bit of that and concentrate it on just the outer V of my eyes. And once again, I'm not swishing it around, I'm just pressing over. Now I'm going to take this L'Oreal Liner Intense. This is the carbon black liner. This is a very, very popular liner. Maybe not this one. You've probably seen this one, the felt tip version. But I actually like the brush tip a lot more because you get whoops, <laughs> you get more product out. And um, it, I think it's a, a bit more pigmented. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to do a really thin line um, right above my lashes. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liner. This is just the blackest black. I'm going to put that on my waterline. And for mascara, I'm going to use this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I'm just going to put two coats. So I'm not going to do any blush for this look because I think it is a bit bold and a pink blush would probably just throw it off. So if you wanted to use more of a brown, cool tone blush, it would go great with this look. Or you could just use a little bit of bronzing powder. And I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild Princess Bronzer, and I've used this tons of times, so mine is actually cracked. Um, but I'm just going to take a powder brush and dip it in there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my cheeks. Just to kind of warm it up a bit. And for my lips, I'm going to use this NYX uh, round lipstick. And this is in Circe or Circe. But it's just a really nice nude with a pink undertone. I'm just going to use that to kind of 
matte out my lips and kind of make them a little bit more nude because my lips are a bit pigmented. And I'm going to use this Tarte Lip Gloss in Casey. And it's just a nice pink with a blue undertone. I'm just going to put that right over it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I will see you guys in my next video. So thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.